Oh, gosh. It's sad because mom died and being me being the eldest, my sisters cried so badly. Like, how could you leave us? You are the one who was always a leader in the family. I mean, it was like, am I doing the right thing? I'm hurting them so badly. And also my brothers, I saw that they are totally lost. But I said to them, you know what, I have a, I have a feeling that you will be there. And I hope in five years, you know, the most. Because I sort of, I don't know, I had a feeling that the Soviet power couldn't last that much. I'm not saying that I saw it collapsing, but I said, you know, you have also kids. And if my kids are successful, I will definitely ask you to do it for your children, if not for us to be reunited. We went, uh, took a train from Tashkent to Moscow, and the whole night we were allowed to take only two suitcases for two of us, 34 kilograms for each. Can you imagine to put our life in two suitcases. What to take first? What is more important? Clothes, the whole night I didn't go to sleep. The rest of my family sleeping. And I was, uh, all night I was looking around. What else should I take? What else should I, what is more important? What is more dear to me? And then from Moscow, we flew to New York and then from New York to Denver. And when the plane landed in New York and I was walking down the steps, I was thinking, oh my God, where should we go? What should we do yeah. tomorrow or the day after tomorrow? We couldn't predict our future because we've never been there. And I was thinking, where, what, and who? And thousands of these words, thousands of questions I put to myself. But still, when we came to Denver, we were quite exhausted for so many days of traveling. Can you imagine five days or so? Yes, and the crowds of people, a lot of people, and everybody was nervous. It was a mixture of pain and joy. And uh, it was, uh, America was like a life of two invention for us. Life before America and life after America. So, and then, you know, just we came. They were absolutely wonderful. They surrounded us by such a support that it couldn't be overestimated. They met us at the airport in vans to get our suitcases. Then they brought us to the place that Roxanne helped to rent. And we saw the furniture that we would need immediately, you know, just there were two. Uh, mattresses for the boys and there was a, a bedroom even uh, totally you know so they donated to us by Rebecca for us I mean there was a table I still have it in that other room it was one of the friends of Rebecca antique table and I mean the necessities uh, we didn't have the couch but later on uh, the couch even was found and you know just and people started helping with small nicks and necks Someone bring us linen some will bring some set of dishes though. It wasn't full. It still was something And it was unbelievably good. We immediately were taken to a synagogue and to me it was you know just like an eye-opener and a cantor sang so beautifully and it, she was a woman and it was like that women can be with men because I knew already about Jewish culture because both in Italy and in Austria we went to a synagogue. We were not afraid anymore. But still because we were Orthodox Jews, we saw that there is a petition and all of a sudden we saw a reform synagogue that functioned on a different level and you could understand the sermon. It was, you know, absolutely 
like a revelation. Or it was, you know, just like, what? A woman singing? Yes, and then the, her voice was so beautiful that, you know, I became like totally taken by such a surprise. And then also it was a, like almost rapture, you know, for me. And David liked it a lot, as a matter of fact, my husband. And never ever I had any, you know, kinds of remarks, a woman in the synagogue. It was, you know, it was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it was so nice. Uh, after our long trip, we had a breakfast. It was English muffins, French fries, and Canadian bacon. <laughs> and from that time, I love <laughs> American food. <laughs> but to be honest, everything is different. Even pure water has its own taste. It's different. And most Russian families still use the old Russian recipes. We knew a lot of Americans' recipes too. But recipes are the same, but products are different. And uh, the outcome is different. But still, we love it. Still, we love it because it's our motherland right now. <laughs> <laughs>